Good morning viewers. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Saturday categorically said that there will be delimitation first. After delimitation there will be assembly elections in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and then the statehood will be restored. Mr. Home Minister, he outrightly rejected the demands for statehood before the assembly elections in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Crosstown News couple of weeks ago also did a story that there will be uh, uh, the draft report of delimitation will be made public or for that matter first will be shared with the associate members of the delimitation commission um, uh, uh, which are the MPs of the Jum Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and then the officials and then the uh, uh, election commissioner and then headed by uh, the retired Supreme Court Justice. Now the details emerging with Crosstown News that the draft delimitation report uh, can be made uh, can be made can be shared in fact with the members of associate members of the delimitation commission uh, in the last week of December. So the last week of December will hold a lot of significance if the draft report of delimitation is shared with the associate members of uh, of the. Uh, delimitation uh, commission including the MPs from the Jum Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir there will be certain time for objections uh, suggestions and then the uh, the particular draft report will be made public where the public can have looked at the draft delimitation report and then there will be again a certain time period for objections suggestions and then uh, the particular uh, the final report will come into the picture also, uh, uh, it is pertinent to mention that the center has made it clear to the delimitation commission that there will be no further extension to the delimitation commission as far as the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. That is the delimitation commission period or tenure is still uh, the first week of March. So which means that the delimitation process in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir is likely to get over before the period of uh, the first week of March. So which means that once the delimitation process gets over in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, the second step would be assembly elections in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. There are a lot of points, there are a lot of significant points to suggest that there is active political um, uh, a movement in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir in the last three years or so. Uh, we have seen that the political activities in the Jammu and Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir had taken the second uh, uh, bench, but now uh, slowly and steadily they are emerging um, on the ground. The political activities um, are visible on the ground. The political leaders, whether it be the former chief ministers, the top uh, leaders of various political parties, they are carrying on the public meetings in steps and in numbers now. So. Once the assembly elections uh, are get uh, will get over in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, then only the third uh, part of the picture, that is the statehood, can come into the picture. But yes, for now, the two points to talk about are the delimitation commission. One, number two is the assembly elections in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Delimitation uh, uh, process is likely to get over by March six which also suggests that the elections can take place in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir most likely next year somewhere in May, June or maybe in September, October. But yes, for the moment, the news is that uh, delimitation commission's draft report can be shared, can be shared with the associate members in the last week of December.